draining right now. I, I just got done washing the cars while it's raining. There's a reason for that. We have a lot of hard water here. And so the rain, it, you know, has nice soft water. And it's going to get wet anyway, but there will be no water spots after that. So that was kind of the point of washing your cars <laughs> while it's raining. It's not just a quick wash, nothing, nothing going into detail, but there's kind of a tip for you. That way you get that nice soft water from the rain instead of hard water like we have here. All right, so I got done painting this. Um, like I said, it's not perfect because still it's still wavy and everything on the inside. I'm not going for perfection. Uh, you know, I got a little water spots that are from just when I opened up the door and sprayed the car. But I'm going to wipe that down real quick. Um, there are a few tiny little areas, uh, but I am going to come back and wet sand this. Uh, you know, with 3,000 grit to get all that. And these little bumps, I don't know if you can... There you go, you can kind of see how it has that that ripple to it. So, but uh, the 3,000 grit, take that right off. And, uh, yeah. And I actually, I might go over it one more time. I might do, a, I might do another coat. I don't know, we'll see. You know, I did three coats, but I think I would like one more, one more on there. Like I said, we'll, we'll see later on, but we'll let it sit. I'm going to wipe down some of that water that got on here. And uh, maybe uh, we'll, we'll just let it sit for a little bit. I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it over because I want this paint to harden up for another, you know, at least four days. And then, uh, so I'll flip it over, work on the other side. The other side should come out a lot better. Another Corvette went by, gave me a little honk. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, so there we go. And uh, it's what I'm doing right now. Not much I can really do uh, today because of the rain, but I could flip over the hood and, and work on the other side. <clears throat> okay. All right, so now, redoing the hood, you can hear. See how it's quiet right there through the sanding? Gets a little bit louder. Louder. And then you can also feel it too. So. I'm using 400 grit right now. Um, yeah, this is the this is still the primer. Before I want to put down the paint, I want to go down to 800 grit. Since this is on the inside or the outside, this is what you're going to see. So we want this to be as perfect as possible. <clears throat> uh, the inside, like I said, it's just temporary work right now. It's so much easier to work on the inside, especially. Uh, you know, once this hardens, I'll let this, once I get painted and everything, I'll let it harden for like three weeks, the actual paint. And then, then I can flip it over and then do the backside again. <clears throat> so I just wanted to get the backside close, close enough and where I can come back and finish it up later on. But I want the, this outside to be perfect. And I can do the other. I can do the other side while it's on the car. It makes it a little bit easier. So anyway, I'm just gonna finish wet sanding with 400. I'm gonna go up to 800, get in all the little grooves and everything, and uh, go from there. So, but you can see all the white little, the white underneath. That's the filler primer, so you can see where it bumped up a little bit. So we'll get out, we'll get that all fixed though. So, but that's what we need to do. We need to get it down to where it's nice and flat, and it goes real easy. I mean, you only have to be in an area for like just a few minutes. So this whole hood took me maybe 15 minutes just to go with 400, and then like I said, I'll go with over with 800 and so forth, so forth. So 
All right. Okay, so I just wanted to point this out. So this is why I use the darker color. Oh, I got to sand that right there a little bit. Uh, you know, I use the darker color on top of the filler primer. Is because that way I can see where all the low or the high ends were actually. Because these were the high ends coming up. So now that I got nice and flat for the most part, you can see that. That's why it's important to sand, you know, down to your 800 grit or whatever. Get nice and flat before you put on that paint. Because if I would have put on the paint and then started doing my color sanding, it would have went down and it would have came out white. So that's why it's very important to do that and really look at all these little areas. You're going to go and feel all these little areas like see right here. I can feel just a little hair up on there. So I got to take a little bit of sandpaper there and really go over it. I see one tiny, tiny little dimple. I don't know if you can see it. It's, it's not that white part. It's actually right above it. It's just a little bit, little indent. Tiny, tiny. I'm hoping that fills in when I paint. Um, you know, because I'm too far in to, you know, put more, more Bondo down just for that little tiny area and get that all worked out. So, but this is why I, I put the dark on top, the, the sealer primer on top. That way I can put one more on and I, and then get it really nice and flat and, you know, then we can paint. Um, but yeah, that way you can see, like I said, if this was paint and I started sanding, look how you'd cut through to the color and you would you would have been screwed, you know? You would have been, oh man. So there's a method to my madness. <laughs> might not might, might not be everybody's the right way but, or the correct way even but that, that's the way I do it so now if you're doing a light colored car then you know say like you're doing white or even yellow oh yellow would be a hell uh you'd flip it you'd want to put the dark on the bottom and then the the lighter on top the color so all right, well, I'm going to finish up a few little things here and let it dry and see what else we got to do. And then as, as it dries, you can kind of see where it's soft and then where it's, you know, you see, you see what I'm saying? See that? So you can see that those areas where it's flat and not so flat. You don't have to worry so much about this as of right now because it's 800 um but when you're color sanding with your 1500 2000 3000 then then we'll work on it later you'll see when we get to it all right <clears throat> okay from there uh yeah let me finish up a few little things and, and then we'll go to the next step all right so we got it all painted there's going to be a little, you know, grooves and bumps and it looks like a little dust. Yeah, a little orange peel. But, uh, let's see if you can kind of see it. Yeah, there's a little dot there, a little bit of orange peel. But like I said, once this, I'm going to let this sit for like 14 days at least. Three weeks. Well, yeah, three weeks. And then we'll come back and, uh. You know wet sand it down so i think it's looking pretty good there like i said there's a tiny few spots something happened right there a little dust but like i said that could be sanded out and if uh you know if it all goes to shit and it doesn't come out that well then i can always go back and redo it <laughs> so all right and uh that's all we can do today because we don't want no dust flying around. Um, so no sanding or nothing like that. You know. So we're just going to let this uh, do its thing. And then, uh, yeah, after this, we'll let that sit for, like I said, 14, 14 days or whatever. Wet sand it. Go back and do the, the underside. And we'll get that all prepped up too. 
and make it sure it's everything's done correctly should be okay all right so that's after sitting a day it looks like it gets darker you can see it a little bit better jet black i still have to like i said I, i'm gonna let it harden up and then i'll color sand it flip it over do the other side get it all real nice and everything and then after that work on this got home a little bit later today but i'll tell you what it's been raining all day and what's that saying when it rains it pours well yeah here's the fridge and last time i buy a frigid air <laughs> i mean this has lasted me for 10 years i can't complain but yeah this has been a, i guess it's a known issue and it just started leaking had a big old mess down here so i kind of cleaned it up a little bit down there but yeah so had to order a new fridge this time i didn't get one with a water dispenser and ice dispenser on the outside they'll have a ice dispenser down in the actual uh, freezer part and then when you open up the fridge there's a there's a water dispenser on the inside I don't know I whatever but I'm gonna tell you what I'll tell you what the price of refrigerators have gotten insane I don't need all these fancy gizmos on there and everything and this thing you know cost almost two thousand bucks or well not this thing but the, the new one coming almost two thousand dollars and i went with a higher capacity uh what, what how do they say cubic foot just because you know my, my girl she cooks a lot and that's why i got two refrigerators here i go well one's a refrigerator one's a freezer and these are just normal standard ones i paid six hundred dollars no four hundred dollars each for each one of these back in the day i wonder how much they cost now um but holy smokes man so yeah I, I mean i i got it for under two thousand but with taxes and everything it just it took it right back up so like i said when it rains it pours <laughs> so anyway i'm gonna try and uh so you can kind of see maybe how dark this is i kind of cleaned a little spot so we can try to get the the best color out of it show you how black that is compared to how much more black that this one is i mean this one's just dark you know so i still have to like i said buff it buff and cut get that real nice shine shine in there i mean you can kind of see it shiny but it needs to be shinier but so anyway that's kind of the color difference i don't know what what kind of black this was but jet black and then as you saw i did the uh it's funny the, the paint when i when i laid it down it was it 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 doesn't look as dark i don't know it, it takes a day or two for it to set for it just to look just darker so i don't know just just a weird weird little setup so one more step closer um maybe i'll do something tomorrow i don't know uh Maybe tomorrow I'll, I'll pull the car out and well, you know, I, I'm I'm kind of bummed out with the fridge. The new fridge is coming Thursday, so maybe I won't do anything until then. Maybe I'll give another rant uh, video. I don't know. You guys, have any opinions on what you want to want me to talk about? Maybe maybe we can, you know, throw throw a message or whatever, and we can talk about something. But I'll, I'll tell you what I've everything's getting way expensive you know it's it's getting out of hand like my my freaking gas bill never had it this high it was 240 dollars normally in the winter time you know it's about 80 bucks but they raised the rates uh electricity went up and i of course i had to buy the uh 
the new unit, uh, AC unit. You can, so there's my neighbors. That's the, the unit I had was like that one. And now I got this big old unit here. And during summertime, cause they, they raise the rates too during summer. And you know, normally I get around, I can almost get to about 260, 270 during the summertime with the, with the old unit. And then I, you know, I installed this before summer. I'm like, oh, okay, well, it should be lower. Well, they raised the rates and I still came at to like almost 280 bucks. I'm like, what the heck? I just bought a new unit. I was mad, you know, but I figured, oh, well, whatever. And, but then I was talking to my neighbor and, <laughs> and he paid, he paid almost $500 for that month in August. I'm like going, holy smokes, that's crazy. And then also my neighbor over here, cause he still has that old unit. I was talking to him about it in, in August and he has solar panels and he, his was 180. <laughs> I'm like, going, how is that possible? <laughs> so I don't know. It, it is what it is, whatever. <laughs> oh my gosh. Things are getting out of hand. All right. Anyway, guys, uh, like I said, thanks for following me. If you want, if you want me to talk about something, give, give me a shout out. We'll, I'll, I'll do a rant on something. But I don't. I just don't feel like doing nothing this week. <laughs> so until I get the new fridge, maybe this weekend, maybe something. But whatever. All right, guys. Catch you later.